A three-day capacity building workshop in environmental statistics, coordinated by the Central Statistical Office, CSO, brought together a wide cross-section of stakeholders from the public and private sectors for training in data collection. The workshop focused on environmental and climate change statistics and the production of a compilation of data with indicators for the Sustainable Development Goals. For Stina Wiggins, environmental statistician with the Regional Statistical Program at the CARICOM Secretariat was one of the facilitators. We are here to provide technical assistance to the CSO in order to encourage them to produce an environmental and climate change statistics compendium. They have, the first compendium that St. Lucia produced was since 2001. So we're very interested in ensuring that they produce more up-to-date statistics to provide this information for policy and decision makers. That is our ultimate aim, to ensure that data is available on the environment environment and climate change conditions of uh, St. Lucia. The workshop provided training to participants in filling data gaps to enable the production of the environmental statistical compendium and also to provide additional data on environmental and climate change statistics for CARICOM and other regional entities and publications. You can go to that report and get information on biodiversity, uh, population and households, uh, forestry, agriculture, land use, and you can be able to make your, you know, see how St. Lucia has been doing in those aspects and be able to make decisions and see where we are. Suriname's experience in environmental and climate change statistics was a central feature of the workshop. Anjali Kisun Singh, an environmental statistician with the General Bureau of Statistics in Suriname, pointed to the over 20 years of experience Suriname has with consistently producing environmental and climate change statistics and the desire to share this experience with the rest of the region. And because of that experience, we would like to share with St. Lucia because I know they have the data but maybe they just need the guidance, share with them our experience so that they can publish this year. So we're just trying to assist countries. She stressed the importance of data for effective evidence-based decision making and monitoring. As a country we signed and ratified many conventions, many agreements, but to know if a country is doing well, if we're meeting our targets, you need to have data. The same with the SDGs. You need to have data, you need to have a baseline, and to, you need to have the data to know, okay, we're on our way, we will be able to meet a certain target. And it's the same with environment stats. If you want to have good quality, good climate change policy, you need to have a baseline first to know if all the projects you have been doing did have a good impact. So data is important for good policy and for monitoring. You're under Caesar. Statistician with the Central Statistical Office said this workshop is opportune as the CSO aims to publish the environmental and climate change statistics for St. Lucia this year, 2024. So we have brought together um, all uh, um, different agencies, both internally, uh, government agencies, as well as the private sector. We have um, WASCO, Lucilec, and some other private sector um, agencies. So we're hoping that with all this um, information in one area, that we can get the, um, the required data that we need to, to, to have this publication. The capacity building workshop was conducted from February 13 to 15, 2024. It was funded by CARICOM under the 11th European Development Fund, strengthening the framework for CARICOM Integration and Cooperation Process Program. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.